Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making one of my favorite appetizers, sausage cheese balls. We're gonna ditch the bits quick because we don't need it. It's super easy even without it. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with our dry ingredients here. We're gonna add some flour into a large bowl, followed by some baking powder. Gonna add in a little bit of salt, and of course, we got some butter flavor shortening. I love this stuff. Go ahead and mash that up until it's nice and crumbly, just like that. And there's Ethan in the background. It's been a while since I showed him, so here he is right now. He's five months, smiling and laughing and crawling and rolling around. Oh, I grow up so fast. Okay, next we're gonna add in our sausage. I'm using turkey sausage because it's super um, seasoned up and you know a little lighter than using beef or any other kind. Okay, you're gonna throw your sausage in there now add some cream cheese And don't forget you guys you can find this recipe on my blog divasandcook.com with a ton of other recipes So go on over there and check it out. Okay, now we're gonna get them little paws in there We're gonna just mash it around make sure all that flour gets incorporated There should be no flour in the bottom of this bowl when you are done So really get in there and work it really good. Okay, just like that's right there perfect Okay, now we're gonna grate some cheese. Don't buy that pre-shredded stuff because it's coated with flour and it will make your cheese balls dry and crack like winter time feet, honey, and we don't want that at all. So shred up some fresh cheese. I'm using regular cheddar cheese, but you can get creative here. Throw it into your meat mixture and then get your hands back in there and just work it around, massage it, get the cheese all incorporated. This feels kind of gross, but I don't know, I kind of like it a little bit. There, it's all incorporated, so that looks great, just like this, okay? That's perfection. Now we're gonna take my mini ice cream scoop right here. I love this little tool so much. Get you one, it's very handy. We're gonna scoop out our little ball here and kind of roll it around, just like that. We're gonna place it on our baking pan, line with the baking mat, or you can use like some, um, um, what I'm talking about you can use like some parchment paper sprayed with cooking oil because they will stick to the pan We're gonna bake it at 350 for 30 minutes and when it come out It will look like this right here cute little cheesy balls yum. They should be nice and golden on the bottom like that Perfect and the inside should be moist. It shouldn't be dry at all if it's dry you overcooked it And there's nothing worse than dry sausage bowls. I love seeing like sausage bowls. That's fun Anyway, it's optional But you can brush it with some butter when it comes out that oven and then sprinkle it with parsley because I don't know They're kind of ugly to me and they need like a pop of color So yeah, the parsley works great and you can serve these with a honey mustard dipping sauce chili sauce um, I have a comeback sauce right there, but my favorite sauce is like a just regular old grape jelly sauce. It just works. I don't know why, but sausage balls and grape jelly sauce just works. We hope you guys enjoyed it and that you will make it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.